It's been pretty tough. You know, obviously it was a pretty rare injury that I picked up. I tore part of my IT band in my hip. Um, it's been a pretty frustrating nine weeks. Um, you know, the injury happened the second day of preseason, uh, which was tough. And, you know, it was just kind of a struggle. You know, the doctors were kind of confused as to how it happened or why it happened, you know, because it's very hard to do. Um, and the treatment with it, you know, it went really well. You know, our sponsorship at AGH, um, they were fantastic. But it was, you know, it was just a lot of trying kind of new stuff because, like I said, they had contacted a lot of doctors and no one really knew the best way to treat this injury because no one has actually ever treated it um, in this area before. So it was frustrating kind of, you know, being a guinea pig in a lot of ways. Um, but again, I got great treatment and, you know, it's been a long recovery, but I'm finally glad to be back. I've spent a lot of time trying to decide that and it really comes down to, you know, the formation that we're playing um, and how, you know, the coach wants us to play. Um, I obviously like being around the goal more so I can whip in crosses, which is, you know, one of my stronger points to my game. Um, but I'm also, you know, willing to play right back. I've played there before in my career. Um, as long as I'm able to get forward, I, you know, I, I don't mind it. It's, it's a very comfortable position, you know, most of the game's in front of you. Um, and like I said, as long as you can get forward, it's, you know, right mid, right defense, you know, it's both are good positions for me. You know, obviously Kevin's having a great year and he's someone that I've played with for a long time. So, you know, if I'm coming in at right back and Kevin is at right mid, that's, you know, it's very exciting because I, you know, I think I play very well with Kevin. Uh, we've had a long history of playing together. So, yeah, it's, it would be very exciting to come in and play on the same side as him. It was back when the MLS was um, just starting to pick up. I had a couple friends who went in the MLS and they, you know, they were telling me that it's just a really tough physical league and obviously, you know, I'm not the biggest guy in the world. So I thought maybe that, you know, wouldn't be a good match for, for my style of play yet. And also through some family friends and um, some relatives, I was able to uh, set up a couple trials over in Europe. And, you know, I had the opportunity to go and it's just kind of one of those things where you're going to kick yourself if you don't try. And, you know, I went over there, had a couple good trials, and ended up you know, staying over there for about five and a half years. When I first flew into England, I was on trial with Bolton Wanderers um, when they were in the Premiership, so that was a pretty incredible experience. Um, trained a little bit with their first team and then did a reserve um, match and some training with their team. Um, then about a week later, I had a trial set up with Bayern Munich's second team. Um, and in between, I was able to go um, stay with a really good friend of mine, Heath Pierce, who I went to college with, IMG Academy, as we grew up together. Um, I was able to stay with him for a couple days when he was playing for Norseland in Denmark. And I was able to train for, you know, two days, um, just kind of in between to stay fit. And I trained, you know, probably my two best days ever in my life when I was there. And they, um, they told me they wanted me to come back after I went down to Bayern. Um, and so I went down to Bayern. Trained there for about four days um, and also got a call back from Bolton and Byron wanted me to stay and they both wanted me to get contracts with their reserve side um, or at least come back to have another look in Bolton. Byron wanted to sign with their second team, but I was 21. I didn't have an agent um, and I was, all I was thinking is I wanted to play first team football. So naturally I went back to Denmark and you know Heath was even telling me, you know, this is a league where you can do really well and you know, they'll sell you to a big team in Europe. It's just a good platform for younger players. Besides, you know, if I go to Bolton, if I go to Bayern's second team, it's very hard to come through the ranks there. Um, so yeah, that's why I went back to Denmark, um, stayed there for a half a year. And yeah, so that's how that kind of happened. And then once, obviously, I had a contract offer and once I was kind of a little more established, then agents started wanting to help out. <laughs> It was tough because, I mean, German, they, they want to speak English. It's one of the only countries in Europe where, you know, all their, even their video games, their movies, there's no subtitles. They don't, um, yeah, there's just not a whole lot of English used. So they got a chance to speak English to someone and everyone there wanted to speak English with me. So it was pretty hard to learn German when everyone would only speak English to you. So I eventually told people on my team in Bielefeld, like, you just can't speak or you can't speak English to me anymore. I have to learn this language. Um, the club got me a couple courses just to kind of get the fundamentals, just the basics. And then after, I'd say about after about a year and a half in Germany, I was just about fluent. And obviously, you know, 
when I first showed up, I was uh, on our first preseason trip. I was roommates with Kevin Kerr, and um, you know he kind of taught me some stuff moving along. And I mean, it was again, it was just kind of hard to learn German when I was surrounding myself with English speakers. So after about a year and a half, I was about fluent. I came across a couple, um, you know, some definitely some Canadians, but there were a couple Americans over there when I was there. And to be honest, I mean, I, I understand why Klinsmann takes such a liking to him. I mean, even the Germans over there, they don't, they didn't think we're especially a tactical or a technical country of soccer players, but they just know we're just very good athletes. And when they can combine the two, that's why they love, you know, that's why I hear about a lot of Americans going over to Germany and joining, you know, youth programs over there to get the tactical and technical trainings just because we're very athletic. We're a very athletic country. And that's what I think he probably, Klinsmann, really likes is we're just very athletic and, you know, you can teach the tactic, you can teach the technique, and if you can do it from an early age, kind of implement that, you're going to create very, very good players. To be honest, it, the city's grown on me quite a bit. Um, I, I love the Northwest, um, so it, it is tough being away from home still. Um, but Pittsburgh's great. I mean, it's green, you've got the water. Um, it's a nice city. Um, you know, I'm obviously my wife is from here. We've got a lot of family around, so that's made it you know, really comfortable, easy to settle in a little bit more. Um, it's, yeah, it's really grown on me. At first, I wasn't a big fan. I, you know, it's just, a, it's just an older city. It's not, you know, what I'm used to, um, like back in Portland, but um, it's, it's definitely grown on me. And obviously, I'd like to, I'd love to win a championship here. Um, that'd be great. You know, I, I think I've, you know, I've still got a couple good years left in me. Um, still feel, feel young, running around like I feel young. Um, but yeah, like I said, win a championship, you know, still develop as a player, help younger kids develop as players that are coming up through the league. Um, you know, because I feel, you know, I've had a lot of experiences, bad and good, um, in my career. And I feel, you know, I can, I have a lot to share with kids coming up, you know, if they need help going overseas, what to expect, you know, if they want to know about this league. I know stuff now because, you know, it's obviously my third year. So obviously just kind of share what I've learned over my career with other people.